Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. You know I have to admit it's good to see that every so often more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk especially the new links page which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord I ask that as I read your word you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 6. Yahweh said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh, for by a strong hand he shall let them go, and by a strong hand he shall drive them out of his land. Now God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am Yahweh. And I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty, but by my name Yahweh I was not known to them. I have also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their travels, in which they lived as aliens. Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Therefore tell the children of Israel, I am Yahweh, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments, and I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and you shall know that I am Yahweh your God, who brings you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and I will give it to you for a heritage. I am Yahweh. Moses spoke so to the children of Israel, but they didn't listen to Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Go in, speak to Pharaoh king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. Moses spoke before Yahweh, saying, Behold, the children of Israel haven't listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me, who am of uncircumcised lips? Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, and gave them a command to the children of Israel and to Pharaoh king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. These are the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanach and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. These are the families of Reuben, the sons of Sibion, Jemuel and Jamin and Ohad and Yachin and Zohar and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite woman. These are the families of Simeon. These are the names of the sons of Levi, according to their generations, Gershon, and Kohath, and Merari, and the years of the life of Levi were 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimei, according to their families, the sons of Kohath, Arman, and Ezhar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the years of the life of Kohath were 133 years. The sons of Merari, Malhi, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites, according to their generations. Amram took Jehochebed, his father's sister, to himself as wife, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. And the years of the life of Amram were a hundred and thirty-seven years. The sons of Izhar, Korah, and Nepheg, and Zichri. The sons of Uziel, Mishel, and Elzaphan, and Sithri. Aaron took Elishaba the daughter of Aminadab, and sister of Nashon, as his wife, and she bore him Nadab and Abihu, Elizer and Ithamar, the sons of Korah, Aser and Elkanah, and Abiasaph. These are the families of the Korahites. Elizer, Aaron's son, took one of the daughters of Putiel as his wife, and she bore him Phineas. These are the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites, according to their families. These are that Aaron and Moses, to whom Yahweh said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt, according to their armies. These are those who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt, 
These are that Moses and Aaron. It happened on the day when Yahweh spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt, that Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, I am Yahweh, speak to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I shall speak to you. Moses said before Yahweh, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh listen to me?